Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick from All About Tech. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about Apple's keynote from WWDC yesterday and in particular the Mac um, transition to ARM-based CPUs or as Apple calls it, Apple Silicon. The reason why I want to talk about this, this is going to be a short video. Um, I'm going to cover the other stuff that was covered in uh, WWDC's uh, keynote um, in separate videos so it's just easy to fix just easy to navigate to which part you're interested in etc what i want to talk about in this video is actually just how much of a game changer um mac moving over to apple silicon their own custom cpus is going to be apple have been doing custom chips for for years uh when it comes to their iphones and their uh ipads um, and even the uh, the Apple Watch, which they developed a new chip specifically for that low power consumption and really, really small form factor. The emphasis of everything they do uh, when they're creating custom chips is, uh, is, is how much power they can get, how much performance they can get per watt um, of power. And then obviously having the thermals in check is a very important part of that. Max moving over and transitioning to Apple Silicon is going to be an absolute game changer. And, and the reason for that is, I mean, the iPad Pro is a fantastic example of just absolute raw performance in a device um, that pushes the, push, pushes the boundaries of what, what you would ex expect a device to be able to do. This iPad Pro is is so powerful it's ridiculous it benchmarks higher than most windows based laptops it's it is absolute madness and on the demos all the demos that we saw of mac os big sur and of the, the the custom apple silicon they were all running on an a12z which is the same chip that's in this and it it's absolute madness the new uh Apple Silicon based Macs aren't going to be shipping with the A12Z. Um, they are sending out a development kit uh, to developers which consists of an A12Z, but they are developing complete custom chips for the Mac lineup. If you think that they've they've done well with the A12Z for the uh, for the iPad Pro, um, I can guarantee that the MacBooks are going to be just absolute next step up because they're, 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 there's 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 more space in those machines to be able to maybe use maybe like a bigger die so they can get more absolute more raw performance from that custom chip because obviously in in the iPad Pro space is quite limited obviously more RAM and perfectly optimized apps. I mean, if you think about it, the way we see MacBooks today, obviously, they're all powered by Intel-based processors, um, and Intel haven't been, um, let, let, let's just say they've not been the most innovative company uh, in recent years. AMD have really stepped up, and they've taken a massive chunk of their um, of, of their market recently with Ryzen. Um, I'm now run, running Ryzen in my desktop, Ryzen 4000 series, laptop processors are now uh, shipping with new products we've got the Xiaomi Red, Redmi Book 16 inch which is an affordable laptop which performs ever so well because of that multi multi core thread performance from the Ryzen chips and now here is Apple with their own custom chips um, that, that are just going to be absolute next gen. I think it's really important this step that Apple is taking because it, I, I think it's going to help drive innovation for the entire space. Um, no longer are companies going to be able to get away with upping the, the performance ever so slightly year on year. Like what Intel's been doing because they, ha they had the monopoly for so long. And then just keep charging premiums for it. I think it's really important that Apple are joining the game uh, with the, the the main computing space with their own custom chips it's it, it's good for innovation which means it's good for developers which means it's good for the consumer because we get better products at a more competitive price uh, all, all, all across the board it, it, it's really really good overall for everybody and what's good about these custom chips as well is that they've designed software to help the transition from Intel over to Mac. They said that they're still going to support Intel for years to come, but apps will be able to be recompiled uh, so that they work natively on the 
on the ARM, on the new Apple Silicon based processing, as well as uh, being able to still support things like OpenGL and 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 and, and all these other things, and the uh, and the in Intel based processing also. They also showed things like gaming on Apple Silicon. They showed Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which which looked absolutely fantastic. They showed 3D rendering um, with Maya, with with thousands and thousands of of of, of polygons, and th that is very very graphic intensive. You need really good GPU performance to be able to do 3D rendering like CAD uh, CAD stuff and things like that. And it's really really good to see it running so so smoothly on Apple Silicon. And I think the biggest thing for me, um, and something that's always been like one of the main drivers to buy an Apple product, and that is the design. If you think about it now, this iPad Pro is passively cooled. There's no fan in this machine. Um, that's why it looks so amazing. It's it's silent. Even when I'm using things like Procreate, when I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile, if if even 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 if I'm doing stuff that that seems like it's quite taxing, this iPad doesn't get hot. This iPad just outright does not have a thermal issue whatsoever. It really is impressive the performance that they can get out of this without it getting hot. It's 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 really impressive. And what this is going to do with the design of the new uh, Mac line, um, they're going to really be able to modernize all the Mac lineups. We're talking the iMac, we're talking the MacBook, we're talking the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air. Everything is going to be is going to be able to be redesigned to be super modern. I mean, imagine that having something of the form factor of the 12-inch MacBook. How thin was that device? It being passively cooled and having the same performance as a 13-inch MacBook Pro. I mean, I mean just imagine that. That 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 is the sort of thing that they're going to be able to do with these with these custom chips i mean they've already they've they, they've already shown the performance that they can get out of their custom chips with the a12z and it's got to be a capable chip because that's what they're sending out in all their development kits and that's what they demoed everything on which was really smooth and the the mac specific apple silicon based cpus next that they're, they're, they're going to be even even further ahead because there's going to be naturally in a in a laptop you tend to have more space for components i think there's going to be a big jump in performance with these apple based uh, socs and i'm really really excited to see what they come up with now that's what I wanted to talk about today. I'm really excited for these for, for, for these new SOCs to come out. It's been rumored for so long, and for them to finally announce it, uh, it's got, the the full transition is going to take two years. But the first Apple Silicon based Macs are coming out by the end of this year. Whether that's going to be an iMac, whether that's going to be a MacBook, whether it's going to be a MacBook Pro, um, it's still to be seen. Uh, they said that they're still developing Intel based Macs for now. But obviously the transition is going to take a couple of years. And they said that they're going to be supporting Intel for years to come anyway. But even still, this is a massive blow to Intel. AMD are really treading on their toes. And Apple are going to be treading on their toes massively as well when when, when they eventually go full, full uh, Apple Silicon based SoCs in all of their devices. And I think that, that that's what makes apple apple products so well optimized that they're, they're they're literally so well optimized that they require less memory they require just less overall because it's all it, it there's only a handful of devices that these chips have to support it's not like android where there's thousands it's not like windows where there's thousands that they, they can literally optimize the hell out of all their socs for their products specifically and give a give an amazing experience so i'm really excited i hope you guys are too um hopefully we're going to see some really some more really cool things um i'm going to be doing more videos about other stuff like uh ios 14 ipad os 14 um and 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 show you guys the cool stuff that i've that i, that I took out from those um make sure you subscribe to all about tech uh make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video uh and comment down below what you thought of the keynote um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Peace.